Uh, but President Okofuado is asking metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies to remove structures obstructing the free flow of water immediately. This comes after, uh, for the second time within a week after heavy rains on Saturday, May the 21st and midnight of Tuesday, May the 24th. Now, Kodjo Brace, uh, my colleague, has been engaging some Ghanaians on this. Let's take that before we get into the other subject. That's for Citizens Microphone. Now, Kodjo, uh, over to you. What have the people been telling you? Well, let's start to engage some of you on the street. But remember to share your thought with us on our social media platform, and we will share it with the rest of our viewers around the world. Well, good morning. I hope you're well. Good morning. I'm fine. Generally, what, what's your thinking about how we've struggled to deal with flooding over the years? Okay, so I think um, we are struggling because um, we are filthy. We don't care about our surroundings. We keep throwing rubbish around. And so long as we don't change our attitudes towards keeping our surroundings clean, we'll continue having this, this um, flooding problems. Yes, yeah, so... Let's just change our attitude. Yeah. The, the president has given order to our MMDCs that pull down structures in waterways. What do you make of that order too, that, that, that instruction? I am not sure this is the first time this instruction is being given. Um, then the MMDCs will take the instructions and go back, take money from people and allow them to rebuild on those same places again. So, um, I think um, another measure has to be taken, apart from just allowing the MMTCs. I don't know whether they can let the military, I don't know how it's going to be done, okay. but more stringent measures have to be taken. Like, what, what would be your proposal? Um, I think we should start from the rubbish first. Okay. So with the rubbish, even learned people, like we are educated in this country. The learned people in this country are more than the un uneducated. Yes, but then we keep throwing rubbish around. So I think the education, even, even the teachers are doing it, but I think the education should start from the school. Then also, I think sanctions should be meted out to people who do it. If um, people are made to pick when they place things on the floor, they are made to pay something, like just anyone, no matter who you are, when you put something on the ground, you pay for something, okay. I think it will help. It will help. All right. yeah. Grateful for sharing your thought with us on Citizen Microphone. Great. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's still engage uh, more Ghanaians here. We are still talking about flooding. Uh, uh, Chief, th thank you very much. Uh, I hope you are well. Yeah. Great. Uh, why do you think, as a country, we have struggled to deal with flooding? You know, it's a problem for a long time. So I think when the authorities, the mental protection, they see that such kind of things will go to disturb our environment, they have to take up and then immediate step that such kind of thing will never disturb our society. So I think the authorities have to do something about it. The, the president says MMDCs break down structures that are on waterways. What, what, what do you make of this, this instruction? That is what I earlier said. You know, we are all involved. We, are, we have been seeing whatever is going on. So when you see that you are at a place whereby the flooding will take your things away, why will you be sitting down there? Why will be, why? What I mean is that, you know, it's a problem that we are all facing. Those around the river banks, the riverside, or maybe the flooding areas, they have to see that when it is raining, this is a, a, a short time problem, it's a long time problem. So, authorities have to do something about it. So, you yourself, you shouldn't see that uh, authorities have, bring, uh, the president have, bring, uh, have brought some certain kind of command. So, it's hurting me. No. Even the president having, should it, shouldn't care the president having certain anything at all. You yourself, uh, bathing there, what do you think it will help you? It will help you for anything. So, you have, you have, you have to, I mean, quit from the area. Then, okay. that's what I say. All, all the authorities have to bring hands on board and then we see what we can do to help the nation. That's what I think. Yeah. But once they are not doing it and the president says break down the structure, they should go and break down the structures, right? Yeah, I think that's what I earlier said. Okay. You know, if the president hasn't said and what are you taking your things out, what will you do about that? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. They themselves won't break it down, but oh, authorities well, can break you, it down. You have to use your conscience. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm grateful. Uh, let's, let's still engage uh, more people on the street of Accra. Mm. Chief, Thank you very much. I hope you are well. Uh, what do you make of the flooding situation in Ghana? Okay. 
Well, personally, okay, the other man was talking about the president's address, but yeah, but, but let, let's look at let, let's look at the flooding it's first. I saw mm. to see a country like Ghana, we are supposed to be the spearing the affairs of African countries, and when you come to our capital, mm. you see such frowns during rainfalls. Mm. It's an eyesore, mm. but we have to do something about it. Mm. That's what a uh, president was saying. Yes, and as a people. We must engage ourselves. Yes, the president said the MCs and other uh, government officials should. Yes, because it's decentralization of government. Mm. So when we get hold of all these affairs, mm. one by one, then together we shall make mm. everything. So I agree with president that uh, the MCs, even the assembly members, should also, because they are in touch with the people, mm. the assembly members should get themselves involved so that with the MCs, and the DCs, they can also do the work and engage the people mm. to be active. Maybe, but but, 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 but but do you agree that structures that are built in waterways mm. should be pulled down because they are the cause or they are they are contributing factors to the flooding? Yes, they should be pulled down. And those who are responsible, I'm from the Ashanti region. Mm. The chiefs, they do sell the lands. Mm -hmm. So they are the custodians of the lands. Mm -hmm. And not only the chiefs, anybody who has a land mm -hmm. and is, you know, is flood prone area mm -hmm. should desist from it. Mm -hmm. But to do that, we need the law to be enforced. Mm -hmm. And it should be, the law should catch everybody, mm -hmm. no matter your position. Because when we do that, then together you know, we can say that, yes, this country, the law is working. And when the law is working, then when people, someone is doing something wrong, he thinks one or two, twice before he does it because he knows that when the Lord gets hold of him or her, the Lord is got, not going to spare him. Being a chief, an MC, a government appointee, we should do that as a people, okay. collectively, okay. as a nation, okay. who are very, very serious to build our country mm -hmm. and to make our country neat and nice for when visitors come mm -hmm. so that we can be, well, we shall be proud of it. Mm -hmm. So we should move a step further by punishing people exactly. who have who have superintended over all of yes. these things. The punishment is very crucial mm. because when you look at other elsewhere, uh, when you you do something wrong, you are punished, mm. and this deter the people from doing it. Otherwise, oh, when Kwame says, oh, I did it and nothing was done, Kojo too will follow. But when the one is punished, no matter the status of the person, mm. then that will bring an end to everything. So who are the culprits should be punished? That's my view. Thank you very much. I'm grateful, sir. Uh, let's still get more people on the street of Accra to talk about flooding matters. Um, you are still watching the Citizen Microphone on, on the AM show on Joy News. Let's still talk about flooding. Uh, le let's see if uh, our boss... Okay, um, uh, Chief, uh, the President says we should tackle flooding once and for all. Let's look at demolishing structures that are built in waterways. What do you make of this? Oh, that, that one should have been the first thing they should do. Because if you know that your structure is built on the waterway, it, should, it must be demolished. But our leaders, they don't stand on their feet. So it's worsen everything. So they have to do something about that. Yeah. And aside that, what do you think we should all do to deal with this perennial flooding we, we are we're always confronted with another best way of dealing with it is that at times it is not the work doing if they say all of us should come out and clean Accra I swear we can clean Accra within 10 minutes but how to dispose it that is where the big problem is coming that's where the big problem is coming so if they can is the disposing and the disposing too depends on the one who did the work his payment somebody can do a work it will take him over two years three years they haven't paid him i i i i have something about that i i'm i i'm i deal in construction and i know what i'm talking about there are people who have done work even since 2017 they have not paid so if there's a, even a, a small work, you are asking somebody to come and do it. If he has to do, because when you do, it, do the work, he might not be paid. Yeah, that is where the problem is. Interesting. 
So that's all together. Yeah. Uh, but 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 what about ourselves and the way we, we, we um, some of these things? Forty percent of the problems are from us. Because you can see when it's raining, people will pour in rubbish into gutter. So forty percent of the problems are from we, we the citizens. That's that. Yeah, so that's what we we too, we have to advise ourselves because these things are not good. Thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful. So let, let's still try and engage uh, more people here. Chief, um, let, let's try and talk to this young one. Chief, we are talking about floods, and I'm sure you are in this city. You've seen how devastating the impact of flooding is. First of all, what do you make of this problem of every year dealing with flooding? Oh, okay, me, uh, I'll say it's the attitude of we Ghanaians. Like uh, when it's flood, they dump refugees, uh, refuse into the drain. A main cause of the flooding and people building on water. Yeah, I'll say uh, that's the main mm. cause of the flooding. Then I sh so so. What do you make of the president asking MMDCs to pull down structures in waterways? You mentioned it. Well, uh, with that, you can't blame the. Uh, those who have put the structures on the waterway solely because they go for permits and they give them access to build. So breaking them down, well, it's, it may not be a bad idea, though, but it's going to cause a lot of problem for them. them as well. So what do we do? It should be demolished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, so that's, that's his thought there, that we should demolish those structures because look they are really really uh, uh, you know uh, causing a lot of harm to the country the, the, anytime it rains the city floods and not just Accra a lot of places with in Ghana get get flooded like you had a young man mainly because some of us are building in waterways and we are disposing of rubbish anyhow how do we deal with this. Uh, let me end with this this man here. Uh, Chief, just let me end with you. Um, um, flooding situation, sir. Uh, how are you doing? I'm, I'm sure you are, you are in this city. You see how floods uh, have been dealing with us as a people. What's your thought about this situation? All I think is that our drainage system is poor as a country. The drainage system? The drainage system as a country is very, very poor. Once mm -hmm. that thing is sorted, I'm sure the leaders are aware. They know some of these things, but I don't know why they have taken too long to rectify the problem. The whole country, and especially Accra, I don't know, for whatever reason, and specifically circle where we are standing right now, there's always this problem, and I don't know why they have not sorted it. I'm sure they know how to go about it. If that thing is sorted, then the, the flood problem should stop. Mm. I think so, that's my, problem. that's my point of view. What, what's your own experience with floods? Okay, so just last week, I visited a friend at Kwashibu specifically. He had a pharmacy shop over there. And it started raining. We thought it was just a normal rain. Before we realized, the whole place was flooded. And the car, you have no idea what the rain did to the car. Wow. Meanwhile, there, was, there were gutters over there. But the gutters were too small. Mm. And just after a few rain, the whole place was flooded. The gutter was choking and everything. So I think, first of all, our drainage system should be looked at, which is the most important thing. The sizes of our gutters are too small. Mm. And our gutters should be covered as well because it gets sealed up early because the gutters are not covered. People passing by, knowingly or unknowingly, drop things and some of the particles coming from everywhere. Before you realize, the gutters are choked. Mm. So mm. our gutters should be sealed and the, the sizes should be expanded. And the whole drainage system of the country should be sorted. Okay. If that is done, it will be... And I think the last one is those who are building the waterways. Mm. Our politicians should please, and please, I'm apologizing with them, should not you tackle... You are appealing to Yes, them. I'm, I'm just appealing to them that they should not tackle this issue with political lens. Be it whoever that builds in a waterway, that person should... In fact, I don't know what the whole planning what I think they have a planning whatever whatever if yeah, you are building uh, um, we, we, used to, we call them town and country planning exactly mm. so how do they give permit for some of these people to build in the waterways apparently you realize that when you dig 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 down you realize all these people are supposed to ensure that these people don't build in the waterways are the same people giving them the plan or giving them whatever the certificate permit. the mm. permit to build so they should make sure that 
these people don't build in the waterways. If they are found corporate, their buildings should be brought down and their gutters should be also be solved. I think these are the two things. Clear those buildings in the waterways and work on our drainage system and these things will stop. Irrespective of whoever's, bu whoever's building it is, they it should pull it down. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter your political affiliation. This thing should be sorted once and for all. So that as a nation, I mean, anytime it rains, everybody's heart is in the mouth, which is not the best thing to do. It's not the best thing to do at all. That's, that's my opinion. So no matter who is the owner, even if it's your dad or your uncle, they should bring it down? No, for the greater good. For the greater good for everybody that is available. I mean, when the flood comes in.